You can't please everyone. Good morning, my friends. It is I, John, on the back deck. It is 7.30 in the morning. It is a beautiful blue sky day. And I am so excited to be here talking to you with a magnificent mug of coffee. I wanted to hop on this morning and talk about the concept of not being able to please everyone. You know, there are people in the world who are just bitter. There are people in the world who just want to lash out at people who are living good lives. There are people in the world that dislike seeing other people thrive. I recently put out a video on my birthday, and I, I specifically put it out at the precise time I was born, 12.52 a.m., and in that video, I just basically said, it's my birthday. I'm so grateful for you, my audience. You're the best Christmas. <laughs> you are the best birthday present I ever got. And I, and I, and I put out just a, a, a joyful message about being 60 and, and understanding that, you know, it's great to be 60. There was nothing in that video that, that said anything about anybody else. It just expressed my joy and my gratefulness for you, my audience. Within an hour, someone disliked the video. And when I see someone who dislikes a video like that, it doesn't upset me. It makes me feel sad for them. Because if they're just sitting around and they see someone who's, who's happy and joyful and celebrating their birthday, and they dislike it, that's because they're bitter and they're, they're unhappy in their lives. They're just reaching out to dislike because they themselves are in a fearful and hateful place. And it makes me feel bad for them. It makes me feel sad for them. I, I'm, I'm sorry that, that you feel that other people's joy is a direct attack against you. But those of us who, who are living joyful lives, who are choosing to express love into the world, who are choosing to love other people, the people who come to attack that aren't doing that out of love. They're not doing that out of compassion. They're not doing that out of um, the desire to make a better world. They're doing that out of their own fears and anxieties. And when someone does something just to be bitter, it really comes down to you looking at why are they being bitter. They're being bitter because they are living a bitter life. And the experience of your life is chosen. You choose to be better. You choose to reach out to attack somebody who's joyful because you are struggling. And you don't have to struggle. You don't have to have that choice to hate someone because they just specifically are, are living a happy life or are sharing their gratitude for the kindnesses people have given them. You don't have to be that, that way. You can literally live into a world of happiness and joy. You can share in the experience I'm having. You absolutely can. You can reach out and, and create a life of, of joy and happiness and love, just like I have, just like many people on this channel have. Many people on this channel have commented to me how they've changed their lives, how simply by exhaling and releasing their fears and anxieties, that was so impactful to them. By choosing to live each moment and make each one a successfully loving moment, they've changed their life. They've seen love come back to them. That's the purpose of this whole channel, is to take people who are fearful, anxious, and needing to lash out, and to show them there's a, there's a different way, to show them there's a better way, and there's going to be some people who just will never get it. 
And there's going to be some people who will take a long time to get it. And there's some people who will just say, I'm done being sad. I'm done being mad. I'm done judging other people for their joy. But as the person who is on the receiving end of the vitriol, you don't have to take it. It's not yours. It's theirs. They're the ones struggling. They're the ones hating. There's ones who've chosen to dislike your joy and your gratitude. They're the ones who've chosen to live a life of, of angst and struggle. And that choice is playing out for them. Have compassion for them. Believe that they can get out of it. Continue to be joyful, loving, grateful for the creation of your life, despite what anybody else says. You can't, you can't save some people, but you can continue be, to be a bright light that maybe one day they'll see the off-ramp that you're offering and take it and get on the freeway of joy, of love, of compassion, and start living a life where they get to feel abundant, feel loved, and don't feel the need to lash out to feel powerful, to be mad at people for her living a good life. It's, it's just a sad existence. And it's a choice. You can choose to struggle or you can choose to thrive. And it really comes down to you grabbing the wheel of your vehicle of life and driving it towards a bright and happy future. It's up to you. And for those of you who are already on the freeway, let them merge easily. Let them come in and, and see that it's a good experience to be on the freeway of love, to, to drive that freeway, wave at people, let people in. You know, don't look at them for their anxieties. Look at them for their love within them, which is not visible at this time, because it's there. Their, their anxieties, their fears, their struggles, their, their need to reach out and dislike and hate is, is because they're afraid of not having it. They're afraid of not receiving that love. And the only thing you can do is make your part of the world so bright so they see an opportunity to make a new choice. And that's my thought on this this morning. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.